Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are still working on King Richard II and today we get to hear from the Duke of York in Act 2, Scene 1. The Duke of York is currently hanging out with John of Gaunt and they are waiting for Richard to arrive. Uh, just real quick, the stuff that happened in, in Act 1, just in case you missed it, Henry Bolingbroke and Thomas Mowbray nearly came to dueling but they didn't get to. King Richard stopped it. Thomas Mowbray was accused of killing the Duke of Gloucester at Richard's request, so Bolingbroke wanted him dead, but they didn't actually get to fight. Bolingbroke got banished for 10 years, which was reduced to six years. Mowbray was banished for his whole life. And then once all of that is done, the king's non-official advisors, just his friends, Bushy Baggett and Green, are hanging out and they're telling him sort of the state of how things are. And they're like, yeah, Ireland wants to attack right now. So Richard's like, I'll go fight in Ireland myself. And by the way, let's tax everybody to raise enough money to do that. And do we know anybody who lives in the kingdom who has lots of money that they can donate to the war effort? And then Bushy came in and was like, uh, John of Gaunt wants to see you because he's about to die. And the king's like, oh, wouldn't that be sad if he was dead before we got there and all we could do was take his money to go fight a war in Ireland. <laughs> so now here we are in Act 2, Scene 1, where we are at John of, Ga John of Gaunt's place and he's hanging out with the Duke of York and they're waiting for Richard to arrive. And yesterday we had John of Gaunt saying that maybe now that he's about to die, maybe now Richard will listen to what he has to say because we don't really listen to people until it's like the very last minute or potentially too late. And York replies, or um, John of Gaunt says something along the lines of, oh, I'm gonna forget the last line from, from yesterday, but he, he ends with something along the lines of, maybe my dying words will finally get through to his, his ears. And York says, no, it has stopped with other flattering sounds as praises of his state. Then there are sound, lascivious meters, to whose venom sound the open ear of youth doth always listen. Report of fashions in proud Italy, whose manners still our tardy apish nation limps after in base imitation. Where doth the world thrust forth a vanity, so it be new, there's no respect how vile, that is not quickly buzzed into his ears, that all too late comes counsel to be heard, where will doth mutiny with wit's regard. Direct not him whose way himself will choose, tis breath thou lackst, and that breath wilt thou lose. So what York is saying is, no, Richard's not going to listen to you, kind of regardless. He's, he's too busy keeping up with gossip and hearing the latest fashions from Italy. And, and as long as there's a rumor, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's new, the king's going to listen to it. So save your breath because you're old and you're about to die and that's all you have left is your breath. But of course, John of Gaunt isn't just going to let that sit. He's got a nice lengthy response, which we will get to hear tomorrow. I'll see you then. Mwah.